Thank you for watching the learning channel at weatherweb.tv. In this video, we're going to be looking at clouds that occurs in medium levels in the atmosphere. And clouds at this level fall into two categories. The first is alto stratus. The second is alto cumulus. Alto meaning high. And firstly, we're going to take a look at alto stratus cloud. Now, alto stratus cloud often occurs during a warm front. It forms after the cirrus cloud as the cloud gradually lowers. Generally, alto stratus cloud is featureless. It may thicken up, particularly if it is associated with a warm front. Generally, the cloud occurs between about 6 and 15,000 feet. If that cloud is thickening, then it may bring some rain, especially if it's associated with a frontal system. Alto stratus cloud is easier to identify once a halo forms around the moon or the sun. The direction from which that halo breaks generally is the direction from which cloud is coming from. However, alto stratus cloud needn't be associated with rain. It may just be associated with a patch of medium level instability in the medium levels of the atmosphere. It can produce some spectacular sunset effects as well. Now, we'll investigate alto cumulus cloud. And this cloud again occurs at medium levels in the atmosphere. But alto cumulus, instead of being flat and featureless, as in alto stratus, is quite lumpy in nature. Generally, alto cumulus is a broken cloud. It occurs between 6 and 15,000 feet. Because of its convective nature, it's associated with instability in the medium levels of the atmosphere. And when we refer to instability in those medium levels, we mean that there is the potential for showers to be forming. As well as showers, if the alto cumulus is of the correct consistency, it can also warn of thunderstorms developing. This is an example of what we call alto cumulus castellanus. Notice how the alto cumulus have got more vertical extent than on the previous slide. This cloud is typical of a thundery day. And if you see these sort of clouds developing, you should be on your watch for the development of showers and also thunderstorms. It shows that the atmosphere is becoming more unstable as time progresses. Sometimes alto cumulus can form spectacular cloud, as is the case here. This cloud is known as alto cumulus lenticularis because it is shaped like a lens. Very often these clouds have been misidentified as UFOs, and you can see why, particularly if you get a series of them all together. This cloud forms because of a particular set of circumstances in the middle to upper layers of the atmosphere. So just a reminder again of those main types of cloud. Firstly, we have alto stratus cloud. Then, alto cumulus cloud. Both of which can give key indications as to what weather lies ahead. Thank you for watching weatherweb.tv.